guys. Good morning. Fresh faced as you can see. I'm in my pajama shirt so don't mind that but I did like the yellow on yellow situation. But today's video is going to be a couple of things. It's a beauty haul. I have a huge box here full of stuff that I've ordered over the past couple of weeks. It's going to be a try on haul. We're going to try some of this stuff out as we're talking about it and it's also just like a get ready with me. I have exactly one hour until I need to leave to meet my mother. So hopefully this goes well or I'm going to show up looking like a clown. She's going to be like, but I was just going to do a typical like beauty haul like I've done in the past, which I love doing. But when thinking about it, I was like, when I watch a beauty haul, I love to see the stuff in action. So why would I not do the same? So that's what we're going to do today. Now I did buy a lot of like the same category. I have a few foundations. I have so many blushes, so we're not going to get to try all of it, but I do think I bought enough to have a full face pretty much of new things to try. Very first thing are these um, Kitsch, which I love this brand, these extra large creaseless clips. I have a ton of hair. I've also been eyeing these in store for quite a while. Oh, I should say, all of this was bought with gift cards from Christmas. Well, not all of this. I guess I spent a little bit of my own money, but most of this was bought with gift cards. I did a whole video on what I got for Christmas. I can link it up in the corner, um, but I got the Shark Flex style curling blow dryer thing and I hated it so I returned it so I have a lot of money to Ulta. I didn't spend all of it which is the best part but I feel like it happened at a good time because there's so much new stuff I want to try. This is what the clips look like. Focus. How cute are those? I love a checkered print and they're just like whatever you call that. I don't know if these are gonna hold my hair. I guess we'll see. Oh I'm not loving that already. I guess we'll see how it goes. I don't love these anyway. I usually just use a big claw clip to clip my hair up, but whatever. But yeah, so I have an hour. We're gonna try out some new stuff, talk about all the new stuff I got. It's basically gonna be like an old school YouTube video and I love that. So let's dive in. So most of this is new stuff. There are some repurchases. Oh, let's talk about this first. I did buy some skincare. So I've been wanting to try the Coco Kind brand. It is a cleaner brand with like no fragrance and all that stuff, but at like a drugstore price. I follow some more like non-tox people that love the skincare line. And I've seen a few people talk about this um, moisturizer, including my babe, Jessica Braun. Um, but this is the Coco Kind Resurrection Polypeptide Cream, rich moisturizer for deeply restored and supported skin. I did put this on this morning. It, it's dried down, but it did have like at first a tacky, let's put in a little more, why not? I do love that it's like this lavender color, um, but it had kind of like a tacky finish to it, which would be perfect for on top of makeup. Let's just throw that. Okay, let me get this box out of my lap. I'm a hot mess. Uh, but I am desperately trying to find moisturizers that I enjoy. You guys know I love the Josie Marin whipped argan oil one, but they got rid of it on Ulta. I can't really find it at Sephora. I don't know what's happening. And it's $45, so I'd love to find something that's not as expensive. I don't know about this though. This is pretty sticky. I don't know. But I'll continue to try that out. Um, it's, it's not like I hate it, but we'll see. And then I also picked up the Vitamin C Glow Serum. Again, I love the Josie Marin Vitamin C Serum, but I'm it's the only Vitamin C Serum I've ever tried, so I'm willing to branch out and try some more. I um, love the packaging. It's in a little dropper bottle. So I'll try this. I don't know why I didn't try it today, but I'll try it tomorrow. But yeah, some skincare. Is that boring? I don't know. I don't think it's boring. Now to get a little something on my lips, I got two of the e.l.f. Glow Reviver lip oils. I got the um, crystal clear one, and then I did get the coral fixation one because I do love a little bit of like an orangey tint on my lips. Maybe we'll try the coral one in the end, but for now I just need like, I always start my makeup with something on my lips just because they're crusty and nasty. So people are loving this. A lot of this stuff I have seen in action on mostly TikTok and YouTube, but I have seen a lot of people try these on TikTok and apparently they're not sticky and that's what I want in life. Ooh, not sticky. God bless. I love the Clarins lip oils, but I know they're expensive. So if these are a dupe for it, it's like the exact same applicator and all that. Feels really nice. I've seen some people, mostly in like comments on the videos of these, like I am really up into these beauty reviews, watching them and then reading what other people are saying about them. There was a few comments that, that they don't last very long, but most of the comments were impressed with how well the lip oil lasts. So we'll see, but so far that feels really nice. Okay, so I bought, and some of this is PR. Most, well, the PR is from Physicians Formula. I am on Physicians, it's always so hard to say. I'm on Physicians Formula PR list, which I am so grateful for because they are definitely my favorite drugstore makeup brand, if not like my favorite makeup brand. I love 
Physician's Formula. So some of the stuff that I have to show you today was sent to me from them, but I have a ton of base products to choose from. You guys, what did you think of the Usher halftime show? And if you didn't like it, don't tell me because I don't, like some people are just not impressed by it and I don't understand what people want. Usher was fantastic. He gave me exactly what I would have wanted. <laughs> Let me know what you thought of it. But like truly, what do people want? Because that was, it was like spectacular, I thought. But we've been listening to Usher nonstop in this house since then. Okay, so. Well here, okay, so starting off, this is called the Jet Lag Stick. This is the Dewy Barrier Hydrating Stick from Nude Sticks. I love Nude Sticks. I pretty much wanna try everything they come out with, but this is just basically a moisture stick, um, which I feel like everybody could use that. So I just wanted to like see what it felt like. Oh my gosh. Does it look like a, like a highlight if you... If you're like out on the go, not wearing a ton of makeup, feeling dry, that is fantastic. Of course the gardeners are here, don't listen to them. That feels great. So I'm also going on a trip. I'm going to apply this on the airplane every 30 minutes. We're going to Disney World. You've heard me talk about it a thousand times in videos at this point. Actually, I think as you're watching this, I'm there, on my way there, something. I don't know, maybe this will go up before. But I'm so excited is the point. Okay, and then, I did get the Kosas Glow IV. Now I'm behind. Everybody now is trying the Kosas BB Burst. I haven't seen anybody like love that, so I'm not really like, I don't really want it. But I have had this Kosas Liquid IV on my wish list for a while. And my mom got me a Nordstrom gift card for Christmas. And so this is what it looks like. Super cute. I got the lightest shade in Revive. It's a sheer, very light champagne. This is basically going to be another situation like the e.l.f. Halo Glow, which you guys know I am loving at the moment. And it just looks really pretty. I love the packaging, the pump, and I love the yellow. Am I doing this right? Come on, my babe. Here we go. I don't know how much is too much, so... Godspeed. Godspeed, Spider-Man. I'm just gonna, I don't know how to do it. We're gonna do it with the sponge, cause I don't know. Oh, it smells good. She's certainly adding a glow. <laughs> you guys, I'm hating these clips. Let me just tell you that. Whoa, it is a very champagne-y glow. Did I not like do the clips right? Get out of my face. I didn't even read the directions on this. I'm just assuming that you just go in and you you go for it. But as you can see, let me zoom you in here. Very glowy, very. I mean, it's hard to say. This is also why I don't like doing these videos because I get nervous about like telling you if I like something or not and then you go spend your money. I don't know yet. So far, I feel like this doesn't give as much coverage, oh, wrong way, as my e.l.f. Halo Glow, but it does give a nice glow. I do like to glow from within. So if you have this product, tell me, did I use it right? Did, did I do it the way you do it? You guys, the clips have to go. They're just not my vibe, I don't think. I was trying to be cute for you. Like, oh, I'll be cute and wear the creaseless clip things, but nope, I'm just gonna plop my hair up on my head like I normally do to get it out of my face. See? <laughs> they look like Marie Antoinette. All right, so for foundations, I have quite a few. So Physicians Formula sent me their new Diamond Perfector Mineral Wear BB Cream, which I am really excited to try this. I think we're not gonna try it today. They sent me two different shades. Um, I'll probably be the shade and I'll give this one to my sister. My sister tends to be just a little lighter than I am and she loves Physicians Formula, so she's always happy to receive the extra PR, but I am really looking forward to trying this and I love the packaging. I did order the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence purely based on Jessica Braun's recommendation. She did a whole like reel on it and she's been wearing it in vlogs where she just like has kind of no makeup makeup days and this just, she it says it's like skincare with a bit of like a makeup boost. So I am very excited to try that because that's the kind of like vibe I want on most days anyway. Another one I got, which we're not gonna try today, but I'm so excited. I also don't know if I got the right shade because it looks awfully light, um, but this is the Armani. <laughs> I've never owned anything from Armani. Luminous Silk. Um, it looks, I don't know, it might be okay. This is in the shade three, but I bought this with my Nordstrom gift card purely because I recently learned that this foundation was formulated for the girls on Sex and the City for the show. Like this is what they wore in the show. You guys know Sex and the City is my very favorite show of all time. And I just thought that was such an interesting fun fact. And so I like had to try it. I just absolutely had to. So I got the smaller one, still so expensive. So if I don't like it, I will be returning it. But what I really wanna try, and again, 
again, did I get the right damn color? This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. I have seen so many people try this out, but the person that like convinced me to get it is Jaclyn Hill. When she puts this on, it looks in Incredible. So um, I got the shade 110 and I'm scared. I get so anxious when I see other people like drop things on their face. Oh, I made a seven on accident. Okay, let's just... Oh, what am I even doing? Can I just do that? I just feel like I'm gonna spill everywhere. And this is a hot mess. I ordered this online. This is too light. <laughs> even though they had it in store because all of the bottles in store, even they, though they were new, were disgusting. I'm going to look like a ghost. But I also have the problem where my face is naturally darker than my neck just because of all my freckles. So maybe it'll be okay. <laughs> I don't know. The like finish of it though is fabulous. That looks beautiful. And it doesn't feel like you have anything on your skin either. So that's nice. So I'm probably gonna go swap this out for a different shade. In which I feel like I used to get shit for returning makeup. Return the makeup, you guys. All these companies will be fine. It's your hard earned money if it doesn't work out for your coloring or your skin type or whatever. Go return it. Don't be shady, but return the things you don't want. That feels really nice. How does it look? It's not like, oh, I actually like it. Maybe that color's okay. Let me know what you think. I guess we'll see how it looks in the end. But like, it feels good. It's like a little tacky, I guess, but maybe that'll dry down. But like, it's not a ton of coverage, but again, I don't want a ton of coverage every day. That feels good, so we'll continue to see. I didn't buy a new concealer, but so I am just going to quickly conceal with my Flower Beauty, my very fave, just really quick. As if this is live and I can't speed it up in editing. <laughs> my mom and I are, our mission today is to find some new shoes for Milo for the trip. So we're just gonna go see what we can find. And then we're going to Olive Garden. So basically this is a get ready with me to go to Olive Garden video. What if I, <laughs> would you watch that if the title was get ready with me to go to Olive Garden? <laughs> Cause I would. Okay, but I am liking the way that Maybelline situation is looking so far. Now to set some things, Physi <laughs> Physicians Formula also sent me this new Mineral Wear Diamond Blur Skincare Powder. This packaging is fabulous. It comes with a little powder puff triangle. Oh, and you gotta peel this off. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just going to set, I've been setting here lately. You just slip it on your little finger there. That's fun. Okay, here we go. Some of the powder. I really could use some blurring effects these days, so I hope this works. That actually looks really nice. A little brightening. Hmm? I'm out of focus. Let's zoom in, shall we? Don't look at this nail, it got messed up. Ooh, that does offer some blurring. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, obviously mattifying it, but also blurring. How exciting. I've totally soiled the powder puff though with my foundation color. And then I do like to set a little here which could also use some blurring. I'm finding, I'm noticing the most like wrinkles right in between here, which I don't even know what face I'm doing to make these ones. Like, but those are kind of bothering me, I won't lie. Getting older is a blessing, but it's also weird to just like watch your body and your face change. And I'm gonna set my chin and my mustache, of course. I don't know that I would always use this powder puff. Is that the point though? I don't know. But the, I am enjoying it most under the eyes. That looks good. Now that we're looking ghostly white, let's try some bronzers. So I have quite a few. Well, that's not true. I have some. Another one from, oh my God. From Physicians Formula is their diamond bronzer, the Mineral Wear Diamond Bronzer. Again, love this packaging. This was interesting. It said it was a serum to powder formula. That is very, interesting to me. And when I first, I did swatch this a little bit already cause like it looks wet. So I was like, is it like condensation? But no, it's like a serum to powder formula. I'm gonna use, this is a Rare Beauty foundation brush. Also don't look at my brushes, they're so dirty. I need to go get more um, baby shampoo. I talked about it in my latest empties video, which I can link up in the corner. I just uploaded that. But I used up on my baby shampoo, which I used to wash my makeup brushes and I need to get more today. Um, So I'm just gonna go in, I'm scared. But I do like this foundation brush for bronzer because like the angle of it, I find like I can just get where I, the bronzer to be where I want it to be. And I like, I can push it in, I feel like. I love this brush. I have the concealer version as well and I love them. I like this color too. I have the color bronze gem. I'm assuming it comes in more than one color. I don't actually know. But like, I like that color. And I also like this brush for like working things into the hairline. I gotta be careful with bronzer because I can be messy with it and then I have freckles so I can easily look muddy. So I'm always trying to 
make it not look muddy. So far I'm really into this. Really into the way it's looking. It's building nicely. Interesting and stunning. Oh, and it does feel like a powder! <gasps> Whoa! Feels a little wetter on my cheeks, but oh my gosh. Interesting. So I'll continue to try that. I also, in this haul, got my first ever, which is so hard to believe because I'm such a fan, but my first ever REM Beauty, REM Beauty stuff. I don't know how you say it. I think it's REM. The song is REM, so I don't know. But I saw so many first impressions on TikTok of these blushes. Mostly Jeffree Star's review is what sold me. I was like, I need those. Um, so we'll talk about the blushes in a minute, but then also Michaela on TikTok was talking about the bronzer. And I was like, well, shit, I'll just order one. So I got, I believe, the lightest shade, which is Send to Voicemail, which, yes, please, I am not answering your phone call. Ooh, the packaging is nice. It's kind of like heavy. Again, I've never tried Rim Beauty and I am such a fan. I am so excited for the album, you guys. I can't even deal. I can't deal. So this is what it looks like. Stunning. Here we go. So the thing about these powders and bronzers that like really sold me is everybody was talking about the blurring effect. Again, that's the trend today. Mama needs some blurring. It does look really nice. I may have could gone with a deeper color, but no, that one's nice, I think. Lovely for the spring, but like, yes, that gives a like a blurring effect. Oh my God. I'm bringing my bronzer like a little more on my cheeks as well. I've been enjoying that. Loving, let me give you a zoom. It looks nice. Let me just blend a little, yikes. I've been like most excited to try the REM Beauty stuff. And also on the bronzing side of things, I did get my hands finally on the one of the new Sephora contour powders, the Sephora collection. They came out with new um, like contour and highlighting powders. I got one of each. We'll try the highlighting powder together in a second. But I got the shade two. They're like traditional like contouring shades. So not bronzing, contouring. I need to get one of my contour brushes. I have a lot of contouring brushes, but I just went for this Morphe one, the E8. We're just gonna like try and chisel the cheeks a little, you know? All right, so far not seeing a damn thing. Are you? Maybe I have too much bronzer on to begin with. Should I have done this first? I can see a little bit of a shadow, you know? Just. Bring a little on the nose. Can you tell the difference? I don't know. We'll have to try that on its own. I guess I can see it a little. Do I look like a supermodel? <laughs> Okie doke. Now let's, let's get into blushes. So I have a lot, like I bought a lot of blushes. So like I said, I got the two REM beauty ones. I got Pinking of You, which I ordered before I saw the Jeffree Star video. And I do like the way it looked on him. Oh, again, the packaging is so cute and fun. Very spacey, which I know is like the vibe. This in the promo photos of her was stunning. And so I just wanted to try the pink one. But then in several people's like standalone reviews, everybody was loving the shade Peach Planet. And so I ordered another one, but this one is Peach Planet. Literally stunning. People were complaining about these like components. I think they're nice. So I don't know. I think these are $20 and I think the bronzer is 25 something. I also picked up two of the e.l.f. camo liquid blushes. These are supposed to be dupes for the Rare Beauty blushes, which I love. They're apparently very high pigment. I went for two very different colors. I got this bright pink in Pinky Promise and then I got this more nude one in Peach Perfect. So I'm not gonna use these today but we're going, I'm excited to try them. This I'm so excited to try. This is also new from Nude Sticks. It's the Nude Screen Blush Tint. So it's a sunscreen blush tint that you can use on your eyes, lips, and cheeks. Thought it would be perfect for Disney World. Um, there's five shades, I think. I got the shade Strawberry Sunburst. Um, so I am so excited to try that for like a monochromatic look. But again, we're not gonna try this today. Stay tuned for reviews for all of these other things. What I do wanna try first, and then I think we'll go in with a REM Beauty just cause I wanna try both. The Milk freaking what are these called? Cooling Water Jelly Tints, like yes. So it took me forever to find this. Again, so many TikTok reviews, this went semi-viral, but people are loving them. I got the shade Chill. Um, love the packaging. These are $24 though. They're pretty small for $24, just so you know. I'm kind of scared, but they're like jelly. Whoa! I'm scared, but we're gonna do it. Hold on, I have to be absolutely prepared with my brush. You guys know I love a, bl a, a blush tint. I am loving the way that bronzer looks. Okay, anyway, and maybe I should have gone in with this before powdery things. We're just experimenting today. <gasps> that is so much wetter than I thought. But I love, oh my God. 
I love this color. Wow. Okay, I dragged it a little too far down. Let me blend that out there, but I made the right choice about the color. I was so on the fence because there's like some similar ones. Oh my god, okay, other side. That glides on crazily and it feels cooling. Ugh, the gardener is getting closer. Also, please don't think those are our gardeners. I wish. <laughs> actually, no, I don't wish. I actually really enjoy doing my yard work as if I do the brunt of it, Bradley does, but I do like the flower and veggie garden stuff. <laughs> okay, loving that so much. What a cool product. Now I want all four colors. I won't even lie. I complained about the price, but like, whoa. I always bring my blush down a little too far on my cheeks but I just clean it up with my sponge. Wow, I am loving. Should we go in with, a, with an REM blush just for fun or should we leave it? I really wish you guys could talk back to me in this moment. Just scream at the computer what you think and then I'll feel it. I feel like you want me to try one. I was gonna go for the pink one, but now I wanna go for Peach Planet with that color. We'll do it. Okay, here we go. Oh, she's pigmented. Also, people have been like bringing them up on their temples, which I've been liking the way that looks and like into their crease. I won't lie to you, this isn't like coming off very pigmented. There we go. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't look pigmented in my, <laughs> oh my God. Woo, okay, hold on. What's going on? <laughs> you guys are probably watching like, okay, no pigment wear. Ooh, but loving the color. Let's just commit. Let's go just as much on the other side. Just really <laughs> up on the temple into the crease. That is such a pretty color. And again, I really feel like I can see the blurring effects of it, which is so cool. I'm an old woman now. I need that. Just <laughs> blend over it a bit. <laughs> wow. Uh, I am excited about that. Wow. Okay. Remember that thing about me looking like a clown? She's coming. Oh, I forgot. So part of this haul was these two things that I've been using both of them. I also recently picked up one of the new Say blushes. This is in Baby. I am loving it. I will go into detail in my February favorites video, which should be up next. So stay tuned for that. I'll tell you exactly why, how I love this. But I also picked up the Sephora Colorful Luminizer, which I have been trying but we'll wear it again today. I got the shade Rose Quartz, which is not what I was expecting, but when I swatched them in store in person, this was just the one. And it is really pretty. It's kind of subtly pretty, if that makes sense. Like it's a bright luminous highlight, but it's not too much, which I feel like a lot of people, I like a really bright glowy highlight, but a lot of people don't. So I think you would like these. And they're the Sephora collection, so they're affordable. Affordable it. Well, they, these were $14, which I feel like is a pretty good price for the quality of it. But also the Sephora collection stuff goes on sale all the time. But I do feel like I have to build it a little bit to get to where I want it. But it is pretty here, if you can see. It just is like the subtlest, <laughs> my cheeks look crazy. It's just kind of like the subtlest, nicest little touch of glow there, which I enjoy. All right, I think we have enough makeup on my face. <laughs> Physician's Formula sent something in interesting. This is the Eye Lifter Eyeshadow. It's cream eyeshadow. I don't really understand. It's supposed to be like an instant eye lift and it tells you how to do it. So let me get it out. The theme of this video is she's old and could use a lift, a blur and a tuck. So it's a double-ended thing. What you're supposed to do is draw this, oh my God. Okay, draw this in a V shape. Okay. <laughs> that was way more pigmented than I thought. Let me blend that out immediately. I like that color though, whatever is happening. <laughs> I don't know why any of you guys watch me. I'm sorry if you hear noises downstairs. My whole family's down there and now Bradley's putting away dishes, which I'm not gonna ask him to stop because now I don't have to do it. Let me zoom you in so you can really <laughs> enjoy this. Okay, and then you're supposed to clean it up with the other end. Oh, how cute. You're supposed to like outline it. What do I blend that with though? Do I need another brush? Just my finger? Is it lifting? Maybe. Now it's just mixing it with my highlight though. That brown stuff did look really scary and it blended out, so that's good. Do I look younger? <laughs> Probably not. 
I'm also like bleeding it down here. Oh, no. Also, cream shadows tend to crease on me, so we'll see. But let's try it again over here. It looks so scary. <laughs> Interesting product though. I feel like Physicians Formula is always doing that where they just like have innovative stuff that most of the time works well. Oh, got a little in there. I just like this brown color as like a shadow. Let me build it up a little over here. I am gonna be so fancy at the Olive Garden. I'm just gonna give a little. I feel like that's brightening, which is nice. Like the, I don't know. Ooh, I've created an accidental like cat eye. Great, but hmm, interesting. What do you think about that? <laughs> I mean, I, I again, I would take my opinion with a grain of salt because you saw how I applied that. I don't really know what I'm doing. They also sent a new mascara. This is the Lash Illusion Lash Boosting Mascara. Defining and lifting. Well, I really want to try their new um, Brazilian Blowout Mascara. It's like the bronze one because it's just so brown. I would love to know your very favorite brown mascara and I want like brown. Like I use the CoverGirl Clump Crusher in black brown and it doesn't really look that brown. I want like a brown mascara. So I would love to know your recommendations if you have them. Ooh, but fun packaging. I used to love Physician Formula mascaras. I never try them anymore. I get in such a rut with mascaras cause like I get addicted to something and used to the way it works and I just want to use that. I'm gonna give my lash a curl. Well, lashes. This is the, um, I love this curling thing. Uh, <laughs> what's this called? Eyelash curler, it's from Tweezerman, it's their rose gold one. It works so well. Ooh, a nice big wand. I don't know why new mascaras freak me out, but let's just try. Ooh, it's very like soft and feathery, which might be nice. I am a two coats of mascara type of bitch, so we'll go in with one, let it dry, recurl, and then do it again, see how it goes. Get at me, bang girl. It's very like natural and soft and feathery though. It's not a very wet formula, which I kind of enjoy. It's easy to like apply. You know how some just come out of the tube so damn wet and you're, you're making a mess? I'm not, oh, <laughs> I said that. I was gonna say, I'm not having that issue. We'll get that in a minute. So far though, I feel like it's not really holding a curl. Like it's immediately made my lashes go flat, which is a downer, but we will let that dry and then go back in. Let me fix what I did here. Oh, we have some weird sun lighting. Gotta wrap things up. Oh, there's stuff in this box I forgot to show. Basically during the blush section, I meant to show this. The Physicians Formula Diamond Filler Mineral Wear um, Lip and Cheek Color, which I'm also so excited to try this, but not today. I have enough blush on. A repurchase is the Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, I just desperately needed this before my trip. It's in the shade three. Love a fresh bottle, but I feel like a fresh bottle can be a little like dark, so. One of you suggested the e.l.f. something, some sort of similar e.l.f. product, and I wanna try it immediately. Maybe when I go to Target today to get baby shampoo, I will see if they have it. But I just love this product so much. I love the brush, you can see how tiny it is. It's, it adds color to your brow, but it also adds little fibers to make them look fuller. And I just, it just transforms my brows in like two seconds and I absolutely love it. I also desperately need to get my eyebrows done. I haven't gotten them done in four years. Don't ask questions. I just haven't, and I need to. I think that one went okay. Let's try the other one. Remember, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. The lighting is crazy, and the gardeners could not be louder. Oh, I got mascara under there. Hmm, I feel like that went okay. So that's nice, a new fresh one for my trip. And while I love this product, it doesn't quite hold them in place as much as I like, so I, I'm gonna go with my current favorite brow gel, the Physicians Formula Butter Brazilian Brow Lift Brow Gel. Lots of bees in there, but I do like this one. It can get kind of goopy, um, but if you just use the right amount of product, it, it looks great. And I love the brush on this thing. I like the control it offers. So there we go. Let's go in with more mascara and we'll do a face spray. Maybe try that other lip oil and get out of here. I've taken up so much of your time as is. Ooh, that looks not, <gasps> look at that. This lighting's kind of nice, like, ooh. I am a curl after your mascara is dry kind of gal, which is risky business, so do be careful. But let's go with the second coat. What if I love this? I love finding a new mascara that I love. It's always so exciting. Oh my God. What do we think? Do we love? Okay, so that instantly added more length and volume all the way across. I'm not mad at mascaras if they take two coats because I'm gonna do two coats anyway. You know, like I feel like most of them take two coats. Maybe they're bent that way, I don't know. Do you have a one coat mascara? Let me know. But again, I feel like it's instantly weighing it down. But again, we'll let it dry and then we'll recurl. Why am I out of focus? 
Oh, wrong way. <laughs> okay, so I got two setting sprays. Both are repurchases. I got the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is my favorite setting spray of all time. I'm trying to break up with Morphe as a brand, but I don't know if I can break up with that setting mist. It is so good. But I also love the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish one, which Ulta now sells Charlotte Tilbury, which is so exciting. Um, so we're gonna go in with this. I did just get the mini size just because, I don't know, I did. But I love this stuff. It really locks in your makeup. Is this makeup worth locking in? Is it too scary? We'll see. Oh, it smells so good. The spray is so nice. Locks in your makeup and also leaves like, it'll dry down a little bit. It leaves like a nice little glow as well. Okay, while that dries, let's try the other lip oil. Ooh, I also did pick up on Amazon. You guys know I love the two Dear Darling water tints for my cheeks. They just came out with a new lip oil stain, which I'm not gonna try today, but I did just wanna haul it in this video. How cute is it? There's a bunch of different colors, so I will keep you updated. But how cute is that? But I do wanna try the other e.l.f. lip oil in the um, coral shade. I feel like that kind of matches my look today. With my hair up like this and this heavy makeup, I kind of look like um, when Karen and Phyllis go do their like um, selling at the beauty parlor in the office. So this just looks like it has a really nice sheer tint. Hmm. So far I don't really see any tint. No, a little. It's like a nice peach, I'd say, instead of a coral. It feels really nice though. It kind of smells like peppermint, but it doesn't tingle or anything, but it is nice on the lips. And again, I love an, a lip oil for the purse. Like it just works. Feels good, looks cute. You know, like you look like you have lip gloss. I mean, you do have lip gloss on, but you know what I mean? Let's take that down. So what do we think? What are we thinking of my makeup look? Is it as bad as I'm making it out to be? So let's take a little look-see. I'm gonna recurl the lashes, but um, yeah, just like a recap. Though I tried a lot of things, it's a long recap. I'm enjoying the way the skin tint looks, the Maybelline skin tint. Loved the serum bronzer, loved the REM blush and bronzer so much, loved that jelly tint. The eye thing, I don't know. The contour powder and the luminizer, like I like this highlighter. I don't know if it's like my favorite I've ever tried, but I'm certainly enjoying it right now. The lip oil is nice. I didn't pay attention if it wore off really quickly, but I did talk a lot, so that's probably not very fair. But like, oh, I like that blurring powder. I feel like in this harsh light, like my skin looks okay. Maybe once it's blown up on the editing screen, I'll be like, bitch, no, it doesn't. You know, not too bad. Let's give a recurl. See, there we go. That's what we're talking about. So I'll try and pay attention to see how long it holds that curl. But if it would hold it, I would like this mascara. But if it doesn't, then I don't, you know? I will, of course, keep trying all this stuff. I'm excited to try a lot of this stuff again. I'm gonna like redo my whole like everyday makeup drawer, take a bunch of stuff out of it and restock it with all this new stuff. And like you saw, everything else I didn't use is up on that thing. I have so much more to try. So stay tuned for other videos. I'll try to keep you posted. Maybe after my trip, I'll do like a chatty get ready with me where we can chat about the trip, try some more other stuff. And just let me know what you guys wanna see, how you wanna see all the new makeup. But yeah, that was fun. I'm so glad we did this. I'm so glad I did it try on style. I feel like it was more fun. But that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry about this weird lighting. I will have everything I mentioned linked down below. That's gonna be a beast to do, but I will have it. I'll put it in categories so you can find what you want. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you very soon with some more videos. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already, at Amy Lynn Butchen for if you're interested in real time updates on our trip. Otherwise you'll see a vlog when I get back. And yeah, I just, I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me today. I had fun. I'm in a good mood. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys. So I'm about to jump in the shower, but I wanted to do a quick, just like update video. Look at the blush. Still so there. I don't know if it's the stain or the REM beauty or both, but like, that looks good. And the eyeshadow never creased and is still there. Mascara looks good. Didn't like flake off on me or anything. The foundation still looks pretty good. The brows, well, we knew that. But um, I mostly like just looked in the mirror. I was like, let me just take a look before I get in the shower. And I was so impressed with mostly, mostly the blush. So just wanted to pop this in the middle of the video. I can't wait to try it again and try more colors. Okay, bye.